What's up everybody? It's your boy Sir Splash and I am back from about a week or so uh, length of time being out. I was out of town on vacation of sorts. Um, I am glad to be back and per a poll I recently posted on my channel this topic was selected as the first video to drop in my return so I do hope you enjoy it. Um, this video wouldn't have been possible without my buddy GB helping me. Um, he's a big Street Fighter guy and accumulated a lot of the research for me. Um, previously on my channel, I've done an Akuma video. It was Akuma vs Iron Fist. I don't believe it's currently up. Uh, it didn't do numbers back when I first started, so I deleted it. I just thought no one liked it. Uh, but anyways, if y'all want to see more videos with characters like these, let me know with your likes, subscribes, and comments. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into this video. Every fighter should seek to master and perfect their art. This belief did not escape the young fighter who would go on to become the beloved Akuma from the Street Fighter verse. Millions have played the game and know Akuma is a badass. But how does he stand when it comes to power? To assess this, I'll be combining the games and their lore with comics. So if this is an issue with you, it might be time to tune out. However, if you want to see just how Akuma stacks up in power, stay tuned. Please note, some terms like enlightenment will be scaled and explained towards the end, after I go through the feats and actions. This way, the scope of power and reason for feats being meaningful makes more sense. I will also give a measure for low ball, mid tier, and high ball based on interpretations and feats. Keep in mind, uh, I do have a stuffy nose, so if audio sounds weird, there you go. My allergies have been uh, destroying me lately. Also, if I mispronounce anything, uh, it is what it is. Forgive me for that. But let's kind of start with the basics. So, Akuma began his training to achieve enlightenment, which is something he has to do on his own. Few within the verse have ever accomplished this feat. This path would have Akuma succumb to the Dark Hado. Now, of course, if you don't know, which I hope you would, Street Fighter is a fighting game. So, of course, Akuma was seeking to become the perfect martial arts fighter, which allows him and enables him to go down a darker path than most. Uh, Akuma, as described by protagonist Ryu, seeks perfection and would later achieve this after losing to Jen, who he later would kill in their rematch. It is to be noticed that Jen was weakened. And this was acknowledged by Akuma, who then stated, if they fought at their peak, the heavens themselves would shake. Uh, I will provide evidence further into the video on why this is not hyperbole at all. During the arc of Street Fighter 2, Akuma kills Goken, who succeeds in his path to enlightenment. Akuma scales above a character who has achieved enlightenment. Akuma enters Street Fighter 2 Turbo as he interrupts a fight between Ryu and Bison and blows them back casually. By the way, you can call it Ryu or Ryu, I don't care. I'll go with Ryu, I think that's what most people say. Akuma states he has mastered his art and then ends Bison. Before Gil did away with both incapacitated Akuma and Ryu, it is stated that the Dark Hado is limited, limitless in power. Um, later on, we see that Akuma cannot be put down by Aura. He also now sells the eruption of Kano. Should be noted that Oro is one of the few characters in Street Fighter who has actually been enlightened, and he scales above Gil, who can easily summon asteroids from deep space onto Earth and destroy them in one effortless blast. Gil sp scales massively above Shin Akuma, who is casually planetary. Akuma resisting BFR um, by Enlightened Oro is a very impressive feat within itself. Akuma after Street Fighter 3 is stated to have the ability to crumble the earth. He then casually crumbles an island beneath him. At the end of Capcom Fighting Evolution, he also easily punches through a massive meteor. Akuma then encounters Nikali within his story and identifies Nikali as a soul between worlds. Nikali attempts to consume Akuma, but is ultimately destroyed as Akuma now states he has surpassed the heavens. 
It is important to note that Nikali is described as the emissary of the gods and consumes in accordance with their will. Again, after seeing this Akuma, questions if Akuma himself has become a god. Prior to defeating Nikali, Akuma states that he would surpass heaven had Nikali failed. This Nikali is also closely tied to Ryu in a prophecy where Ryu is consumed. Now, we know that Oni Akuma of Street Fighter 4 was ultimately defeated by Merch Ryu, who transcends the duality of mortality and immortality. However, Akuma alludes to this duality in Street Fighter 5 when he encounters Kage, or evil Ryu, before he sends Kage away with his uh, move, which translates to Heaven Thrusting Fist. The reference of human and demon are the Satsui no Hado and Mu no Ken, which are used as the basis for the duality that Ryu eventually transcends to defeat Akuma and BFR guild to hell. Akuma states he understands this in the scan above, and which will be in the video, as uh, Ryu did when he transcended some time ago. Um, here I'm kind of going to go over what enlightenment entails. So within Street Fighter, Enlightenment is supposed to be when you come to know the workings of the universe and all that it encompassed. But your existence, in this character states, the existence shows me that I'm much ignorant of such matters. Now, for those that actually have achieved enlightenment, you can interpret it as they have, you know, somehow understood all within the universe or they have accomplished and acquired universe levels of power. But there's more to this. So, lowballed, we can look at this and say planetary plus. Uh, we do know that enlightened and enlightened plus Akuma was stated to easily be able to crumble the earth. Midball, and what's safer for me, is universal. Universal plus. Um, we do see in a scan within the comics uh, that with a single thought of an enlightened individual, he created a space time universe through his power of enlightenment and the, their souls alone can tank such things that exist within the universe such as the good and evil and the time space itself uh, this was when a character was cast out of time itself you can uh, argue that this will put them at outer versal if you believe that time exists in every uh, dimension so um, this could possibly which would allude to the outer versal high highball but um he's outside of space time and states that yo with my consciousness i formed a space time and within that space time we see another character tank it um this is why i say it's easily universal it makes more sense when you see what enlightenment means uh he would be above baseline universal because he has destroyed characters that have already achieved this level of power um so obviously midball would be universal universal plus range and this makes sense with his crossover to uh asura when he fought asura from asura's wrath uh my buddy uh mephisto aka the knight on youtube i believe is making an asura wrath vi video uh if he hasn't already so keep a lookout for that maybe i'll talk to him about going over that lore but this would make sense when it comes to consistency of the midball power and outer versal as i explained for the highball would be him existing outside of time itself, existing outside of space itself, so you could argue outside of dimensionality and then creating his own, as well as if you consider mortality and immortality a true duality, transcending that very um, duality would make that outer versal. Um, anyways, let me know what you think. If you were of the belief that Akuma is street tier, I hope this changed your mind. Uh, thank you all for tuning into this video, first one in a while. If you want to see Akuma in a versus battle, let me know down below. If you want to see him face someone specifically, comment that character. Um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. It's been your boy Splash. Like, subscribe, comment, check out the Patreon, and I will see y'all later. Peace.